uh, I was so sad and I was so humbled uh, uh, by what I have seen. I have traveled all around the world and visited similar places, but this is by far uh, uh, most appalling uh, scenes I have seen. The I military says that they can assure us that very few civilians died. Do you buy that? I have made and uh, repeated on many cases that uh, there were so many uh, civilian uh, population who lost their lives. That was an uh, unacceptable uh, situation. And even though they might not uh, recognize and admit this one, we have uh, many such uh, cases. Did it look like there was heavy bombing? Uh, as I flew over today, uh, there were many uh, destructions uh, which may suggest that, that there were very severe uh, fightings. Uh, and which heavy have, weapons used. That's what uh, I guess, but I do not have any uh, clear evidence. But from what you saw, it looked like it. Yes. Secretary General Ban Ki Moon has been touring the largest refugee camp in Sri Lanka's northeast. Ban is hoping the trip will give him a clearer idea of the situation facing the hundreds of thousands of refugees made homeless by the recent fighting in Sri Lanka. The country's president declared military victory over the Tamil Tiger separatists earlier this week following the decades-long war. Gerald Tan reports. Appealing for a nation to heal the wounds of war, the UN Secretary General is on a visit to Sri Lanka. Ban Ki Moon is the first major international figure on the island after the government declared victory over Tamil Tiger rebels on Tuesday. Since January, more than 7,000 civilians have lost their lives. A further 280,000 have been driven from their homes. The UN says its concern now is for those who've become refugees in their own country. There should be promotion and protection of human rights, and there should be unimpeded access to the sites of a needed place by international humanitarian workers, including the United Nations. These makeshift camps are swelling by the day, stark reminders of how the victory was secured at a very high price. There's little food, poor sanitation and overcrowding. As a result, the aid organization Oxfam says epidemics of hepatitis, chickenpox and skin diseases are taking hold. Sri Lanka's government says it will resettle most of the Tamil civilians within six months. But there's a bigger challenge, how to reintegrate them into Sri Lankan society at large. The Tamils make up nearly a fifth of the island's 20 million strong population. They've long claimed discrimination at the hands of the Sinhalese majority. I hope that the President Rajapaksa and government leaders will reach out in an inclusive dialogue with the minority groups, including Tamil and Muslims. Speaking at a festive victory rally, the president dismissed talk of a separate Tamil state and echoed calls for a single national identity. I must remind you that today, not only in the south, not only in the north, not only at this rally today, even where there were LTTE strongholds, there is only one flag. That is the national flag. That is the lion flag. Sri Lanka may be saving its long fought for peace, but how long that will last depends on the choices made today and how the country is to move forward after 26 years of civil war. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera. Well, there's plenty more to still to come on the program, including we investigate how Mexico's army...